In this video, I'll show you how to change your Xbox dashboard to a custom image. So you can see I'm on my Xbox dashboard here. I'm going to need to take a custom image if I don't have one available already. You will need to do the same. You can do this inside of games. For example, if I select Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I'll show you one way you can take your custom image. For example, if you press the Xbox home button on your controller, and then from here, if you scroll over to the right until you get to the capture and share page, and then from the capture and share page, you can see that you can capture a screenshot. This is one way you can take your custom image inside games. So I'm going to do this now. If I hold the Xbox home button as it's saving the image, you will see that this is the image that you've just taken. So you have a preview. And then below this, you can also set this as background. So I'm going to do this now as this will change my Xbox background to that custom image that I've just taken. But there's more to show you. So first, let's set this background here. Now, in certain games, you have a photo mode, for example, this game, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, has a photo mode. If I press both sticks in, the left and right stick on my controller, this will open up a photo mode. And because this is a feature within game, I can now customize this image in order for it to be used for my Xbox dashboard. For example, let's just uh, move into position here. Maybe put it on a uh, crooked angle. I'm not going to do too much to it, obviously. We're just quickly doing this as an example. If I press A to take this photo, it will do the same feature and I'll be able to do this again and set this as my background. But I'm not going to do that yet because I'm going to take you into the dashboard to show you more. So first, let's come out of the game. So I'm going to come out of Assassin's Creed Valhalla now. You can see that the first image that I have taken has now been used as that dashboard image, that custom image. But let's say you have a drive plugged into your Xbox console and you want to use an image from that drive. This is where I'm going to show you how to use that custom image as a background and also where to find your screenshots if you don't press your Xbox home button in time when it's saving. So if I press the Xbox home button on my controller now, move all the way over to the right hand side and then go to settings on the profile in which I want to change my background for and change it to a custom image. Here you can see personalization. Now I'm already on it because I've just been on it earlier before I started recording the video. But where you can find this is if you go to the side menu here, if you're not already on general, you want to be on general, and then in the general tabs, you can see personalization is available. Select personalization. From this page here, you can see that you have a few options. One of those options is my background. Select my background and you can see a variety of options that you have available to you. You can use solid colors, achievement art, customized image, and screenshots. Now what's currently highlighted is screenshots because I've taken a screenshot in game and that has been used. But we also took another image and I want to use that one and where to find it, I'm going to show you now. So of course, if I select screenshots now because what the image that I've taken inside of Assassin's Creed Valhalla is a screenshot, you will see that you won't see it here due to the settings I currently have on my Xbox. This might be the case for you as well. You might have taken a bunch of screenshots that you cannot find. It will automatically, by default, have you under on the Xbox network. Now these are images that you've taken that have been uploaded to your Xbox network that you can also find in your Xbox application. So if you have the Xbox app, you will find your images on the Xbox app as well. But I want you to change the option here at the top and you can select on this Xbox console. So the images that you've just taken on your Xbox console that are not yet uploaded to the Xbox network, those screenshots will be available right here. And you can see where you can then use this by selecting A. And then from A, if I move my, I've just pressed down on the D-pad so it highlights the menu here. On this menu at the bottom, you want to go to those three semicolons. And then from the semicolon, you can see that you can set this as your background. So I also said that I'll be able to show you where to find, you can see it's telling me it's a success background has been set. Now I also want to show you where you can find images that you might have on an external drive that you have plugged into your Xbox console. I'm also going to show you that as well. So I'm gonna come out of this menu and I'm gonna go back to the settings because it's taken me all the way back out. There's another way to get to settings at the moment. So I'm gonna select it here. And then from this menu, we're going to go into that personalization again. And then we're going to select my background. And there are also customized image. If I select customize image, this will open up a file explorer where you'll be able to search for 
drives that you have plugged into your Xbox that your Xbox will recognize that may have images that you want to use as your Xbox background. And you can find those here. If you can't see it, of course, you have your recent. So anything that you've opened up recently using this file explorer on your Xbox console will appear here. If you haven't used your drive yet, it might not appear. If you scroll down, you'll be able to open up a file explorer where you can search for or search the drive that you want to use an image from. And that is how you can change your Xbox dashboard to a custom image. Now I'm being, I've been using dynamic backgrounds and I'm going to change it back to the one that I want, which is Ghostwire Tokyo, <laughs> because I like that background. That's the one I've been using. And that is currently available on the Xbox. Oh, it hasn't changed yet. So I'm gonna actually change that. That is currently available on the Xbox as well. So there we go. I've just taken you through I just want to make sure that this background is going to change before I leave you don't forget there'll also be some images on screen right some additional videos on screen right now where you can find more videos and helpful videos like this where I'm teaching you how to do things on your Xbox and a lot more you should see some more uh, shots right there now I'm just going to just make sure that I've change my background accordingly because it's not changing back and I want it to change back so let's go back into those file into personalization here my background and then I want to go to dynamic background and I want to set this as my background image for some reason yet yeah, not working I want it to do that let's see if it'll change it and then change it back that should work there we go. So just a little bit of a hiccup there just at the very end. There should be some more helpful videos that you will see on screen right now. Don't forget to check those out. Thank you for watching another Anthony Allen video right here. There's a lot more where that came from, a lot more Xbox help. Check out those videos. Thank you for watching.